What's up guys, it's Shrek, and this is Sanguine. Sanguine is a tier zero, absolutely gorgeous, vampire hydrographic, dipped, red translucent, it lights up in the dark with a subtle blue glow, radioactive, just incredible strife build, which I will be linking at the end of this video for your viewing pleasure. If you wanna know more about this build, that will be at the end of the build. However, that's not what this video is about. I just needed a really rock solid 2S build here to, uh, uh, to showcase this. So it's been a little while since End War, but this was given to me at End War by Blaster Core. Well, what is this? Well, this is a standalone flywheel afterburner kit. Now, it's uh, a little weird, and it took me this long to actually make the video because I had to make this first. And I'm going to poke some fun at Blaster Core just a little bit. They came up to me in a rush at FoamCon, and they were like, hey, man, thanks for putting this on. And I was like, thanks for being here. And we became good friends very quickly. They were like, we really want you to make a video about our afterburner. It's a standalone afterburner. You're gonna love it. And I tested out the one that they had. They were putting it on springers. They were basically putting it on anything that they could because it's hilarious. And uh, you can turn things into essentially a one stage or a two stage flywheel build with great ease. So they were like, would you like one to make a video about? And I was like, yes, yes, I would. So it's a fully 3D printed kit that holds a flywheel cage inside and acts as an afterburner that fits onto in-strike attachments here. And then hilariously, it's got an in-strike attachment on the edge so that you could stack multiples together. Now, the thing that's significant about it, or the reason that it took me a long time to make is because they asked me what I wanted in it, and I was like, oh, well, we're at FoamCon, so like we have so many great people here to draw parts from. I was like, go grab containment crew uh, cyclone wheels, please. And so they grabbed containment crew cyclone wheels, and then they went over to the foam blast ladies, and they bought fangs, because motors with bite. And so it is a 3S uh fang build, which means that it would be a suitable afterburner for a 2S Snickers build like this. And so like this will take Sanguine from its very consistent performance of What's going on there? <laughs> he said very consistent performance and now like I'm dealing with weird magazines. There we go. Weird darts, guys. I don't know what to say about that. But uh, from its very consistent performance, Snickers style, to uh, something just remarkably gnarly. So let's go ahead and slip it on, and then we're going to actually add this before we add our battery. And that's because they were in such a rush building this for me that they reversed the polarity of it. And I didn't want to mention that, and I was just content to take it apart and fix it myself because I was happy to do that. It was so nice of them to give it to me to make this video with that I was like, ah, I'm not going to rib them too terribly bad, but I can't actually take it apart. It seems like once it's built, it is a standalone core and it's pretty done. The way that they solder in these leads here, that seems to be what holds it into place. So I thought about pulling it out and trying to switch these, but it would have been very difficult. So instead, I made this, which is a reverse circuit. It's just an XT60 that switches the polarity. And once this is on, it is on. I could integrate a switch in if I wanted to, but it, it's an afterburner, it's on. So now we have a 3S humming on the edge of Sanguine, and we have Sanguine itself running on a 2S. So let's go ahead and power up Sanguine. And... Let's disconnect that just so that we don't have to talk over it. You might have noticed that there was a significant uptick in power going from the Snickers cage into the 3S, 2S into 3S, Snickers wheels into Cyclone levels of crush. This was pretty intense. It was actually so intense that it busted our uh, blaster boards target. It took one of the fins off. So obviously we should shoot for distance now. Let's go. <laughs> So, uh, 
that was emptied pretty handily and of course there was a notable increase in power but that is the blaster core afterburner kit i will link to their page down in the description box below if you're interested in turning something like a deploy into something that's actually war practical this is honestly the easiest way to do it because you don't even have to take apart a deploy or a long strike or a long shot to turn it into a flywheel blaster things just enter and then leave much faster than they arrive you can put basically anything that you want into it as long as it's a standard size flywheel cage now this uh is is effectively just a strife front end with in strike adapters on either side but i think that the blaster core afterburner kit is cool i was thrilled to have them at end war 2017 and they are on my list of people that i would love to see return for end war 2018 uh, hats off to you blaster core keep doing really cool unique things and i hope that you'll have more cool unique things coming next year interestingly enough there are holes here i assume to attach a rail on the top or on the bottom if you so desired but uh very neat part. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of afterburners. Like how many of these would we have to stack together to break the uh, the the hobby? Like just four of them all the way up to like a 5S, 6S? It would be a 6S at that point. That would be ridiculous. The darts would be smoking. They'd be naught but powder and rubber bullets by the end of it. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. See you next time. Drek out. Uh, uh.